Last night, I had a confirmation of a paranormal story that happened to my father in the house I used to live 30 years prior. So he was in the basement uh, working on something. He lived there with my mother and grandparents at the time because he dated my mother. Now, he was in the basement working on something, and in the north corner of the house, he seen a shadow figure out of the corner of his eye. But when he turned his head to look at it, the shadow figure didn't walk away. It glided away. Now, something that came up years later is my grandmother said to him, I tried to run you off lots of times. Now, my father speculates, could this be the actual shadow figure speaking through my grandmother? Now, I believe it could be very possible because any good thing that would come into the lives of my mother, my sister, or myself, any partner, my grandmother would try to run them off. It was almost as if that something within her could not stand the outside influence that might draw us away from the property. An interesting fact about this property is my grandmother would scream at people, this is my house! And what actually ended up happening was when I pulled the records... She never owned that house. It was never signed over to her. So I don't know who owned the house. I tried to check the records, um, and it looks like the original owner, he was building it, and he used to live in the basement, right? The original owner wrote up a contract that when I read it back through the papers, you, it was so quickly written, it, it didn't even make any sense. It's just like, pay money, live here, see you later is basically what this said. But being that the original owner lived in the basement to work on the construction of that house, did he, in fact, see something in that basement that made him just say, I'm leaving it? Because when my grandmother, when my grandfather acquired the house prior to marrying my grandmother, the original builder had left all the parts, all the tools, everything. He literally practically threw this crude contract at my grandfather, sold the house to him for pennies on the dollar, and took off to Florida. So I believe the original builder might have very well seen this figure as well. I should add, too, that this house was plagued with problems, okay? For one, the basement wall fell in when the house was only about 20, 30 years old, and it completely flooded out the bottom of the house, and it was just a real, just a real pain. My grandfather had to put in a, a basement wall that was several feet thick to oppose that happening again. The bedroom directly above where the shadow figure had been seen by my father um, another figure was seen by my sister sometime in the late 90s. Uh, when I lived there alone because my sister had moved away and my grandmother had died, my grandfather had died, my dad had moved away. When I lived there alone, the dog went crazy barking into my grandmother's bedroom. And I, I went in there and I looked. And there's nothing there. She's bristled up. She's going nuts. It actually struck me so heavy. I just started crying and had to go outside. Uh, that was... Um, that was has never happened to me before. I've never had something hit me so heavy I just burst into tears and have to run away. But uh, something was up with this house. And to add some insult to injury on it, I had wild paranormal activity. I'm talking the classic, like, the devil is in your house. Like, the 3.30 a.m. nightmares, the astral project projection, the being touched. Uh, it was hell. It was, it was pure hell. And uh, when I had a roommate who rented a room for me, he just got to the point one day. He said, I'm leaving. So you're like, what? He just, he's like, I got to get out of here. He just up and left. And in the days leading up, he'd become more and more and more angry. Now, I was thinking about this uh, recently too. Now, the bed that I slept on was the original to the house. There had been one, two, all four people who had slept on that bed prior to me were dead. And, you know, that happens. That's life. If you slept in a hotel room, you slept on a bed somebody has died on. But that that's, that's normal. I was sleeping on a bed, original to a house that is haunted, where all four people had died who had slept in it. Not on it, but they had died who had slept in it. And that just adds a whole new level of creep factor.